Well, 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 here we are again, Privateer FX, coming at you on a Wednesday morning, 17 October, FOMC minutes tonight, good God, that's uh, 13 hours away, but before then we have uh, UK CPI, so that'll be a focus today, and of course we're going to look at stocks, Netflix ripped it. I think it was up 50 bucks after hours when I uh, when I went to bed. Wow, it's a good product, right? I mean, if you think about it, we all use it, even though they're bloated with debt and looks like they're running it in a very sort of cavalier way. That company, the product is useful, and people love it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm of two minds of it. We don't have uh, we don't have a dog in that fight. But uh, anyway, Netflix ripped it. Stocks closed on the highs. We're now at 28.16. Uh, we've been patient about re-entering sales here. Been very cautious. Uh, but now we're going to start to get a little bit more aggressive. Today we'll be at 28.28 and 28.38. Um, we think the the minutes are going to be hawkish today, and. This should be bad for stocks. So, this big green bar is not to be taken lightly. That's a powerful bar. So, we're 10 handles up our first sale, and then 20 handles up our second sale. What else is out there? Uh, Dollar Rand is approaching this massive head and shoulders. Gosh, it makes no sense. Uh, but technically, you, you, you know, you're looking for a touch now at 05. Uh, and then if it survives through the minutes, you kind of have to trade this just for purely technical reasons. But what I'm looking for is perhaps even a touch today and a false break today. And then if the minutes are hawkish, we can get back on the horse and long dollar rand. So we're waiting and watching in dollar rand. This is going to be a very, very key moment. This 14 for 1405, 14 the figure area. So watching, uh, lurking with the patience of a python. What else? UK CPI. Very, uh, very difficult to trade cable these days with so many news bombs. We are tending to avoid it. Um, I don't know what to say first level on the top side is 60, but the all-important level and the Brexit all-clear level is 133, the figure. And maybe the maybe the plan should just be leave stop entries at 133, the figure, and then ignore cable uh, until then. Uh, I don't know, but CPI is going to move it. I really don't know what to do with it, so I won't, I won't give you any uh, advice that I can't really back. Dollar Swiss looks interesting for FOMC. Uh, if they're hawkish, this is also a, a, a more a more liquid horse than say dollars are. Um, there will be stops above 99.55 now, and then the all important uh, one double O comes into play. Got to keep an eye on this um, 99.55. If that happens, euro is going to head lower. The euro, the di rate differential, differential between dollars, uh, for between ten years and boons are, are is at its widest again. This is going to create downward pressure on the euro. Excuse me, I'm just drinking some coffee. Um, I don't know what to do with it. Um, 1534 is kind of a represents the bottom of the recent range. You can see this bar yesterday is pretty bearish. We got quite uh, quite bold up there above 116.10. Uh, had a nice little position on average uh, 115.94. Huh. I like those apples. That was a bit frustrating. Anyway, it didn't work up there and uh, now we're coming back down. 
we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Dollar Swiss is more my horse today, uh, oddly enough. This uh, will be moved with even greater ferocity if U.S. yields continue higher. Dollar Yen is having a bit of a retrace in the midst of, a, of the beginning of a downtrend. Let me just remind everyone of the weekly chart. Two weeks ago, bang. Last week, bang. Uh, this thing is a fade, but you want to fade it on a hawkish, a hawkish minute. So hawkish minutes, knee-jerk dollar yen higher, but then risk off will drag it lower. Uh, I'm thinking between 112, 55, and 85. Not much going on in Aussie. Creeped up a bit. CAD just screwing around, printed a low yesterday, but couldn't really, couldn't really sustain it down there at 17, we're back at 60, um, waiting game. First piece of news uh, will be the CPI today, as I said in the UK, we do have a 30 year bond auction for those of you who are trading boons, um, this does tend to affect the boon price action. Fed speakers also. Brainyard um, is speaking 4.30 our time, and then the minutes are at 8 p.m. Also, Aussie unemployment tonight, 3.30 a.m. in Europe, for any youngsters who want to wake up. All right, that's it. Main focus is selling stocks on a high one, and we'll be looking for dollar... Um, Dollar strength on a hawkish FOMC minutes through dollar Swiss. Uh, and that said, if, let me just throw this at you, if it's dovish, you just smash dollar yen. Uh, dollar yen is in a pretty serious downtrend here uh, for one reason or another, but technically this is pretty powerful. Uh, so if, if he's dovish today, dollar yen, or yeah, he, if he's dovish today, Powell, uh, on the minutes, we smashed all again. Good luck out there, people. I will see you manana. Ciao.